Hi, this is a, a, a video for 10 questions for VC video makers for uh, Richard McCook. And I just found the guy's channel through Gary, through physical format. And I know uh, Josh from the Flipside Vinyl just did this also. And I was going to do it tomorrow, but you know what? I'm just going to jump on it right now. So I like to, sometimes I kind of like to uh, go outside. So I'm here in Mexico City. We have like a lot of sun here. And I really like the natural light. So I'm just gonna like go through these quickly. So number one, what is more important to you, views or subscribers? I would probably say in the long run subscribers because these are the people that really watch my videos every day. We interact and you know, I've made a lot of good friends here. You know, in like the vinyl community, I'm not really vinyl community. I, I, I do more like CDs and stuff, but um, you know, still we're all one big family and, uh, you know, I really enjoy it. So I would say subscribers, do you have an optimum length for your videos? You know, I like to keep them seven to 10 minutes. Maybe sometimes I do even shorter ones, like four or five minutes because, you know, I'm somebody who's busy and I don't always have time to watch like 20 minute videos. So when my friends upload videos that are like, you know, four or five, six minutes, I feel that's perfect because then I could just, you know, sit, watch it, you know, take a break from what I'm doing and then just, you know, go on with my business. So I really like the, the shorter videos a little better. Okay, question three. Is it a chore making videos or are you addicted and do you still get nervous? No, not a chore. I love it. I'm addicted. I, that's why I upload every day. Every morning I got a new video out. You know, I go these long stretches without even like pat, skipping a day of uh, uploading a video. I used to get nervous. Now I don't. I like to edit out. If I like flub up my words, I usually take it out. This video I'll probably just like let it run through. So if I mess up, I'm just going to leave it in there. Uh, what else? How do you react to bad slash negative comments on your video? I, I leave them. I don't respond. I don't give a thumbs up. I don't give a heart. I don't respond to the comments. I think if somebody's going to say something, I'm just going to like leave it there and I'm going to let the world see what an asshole they are. That's just my view of it. Um, the, the negative comments I get are like pronunciation things. If I like mispronounce a name, or I did a video on the heavy metal band uh, Children of Bodom, but I didn't know the pronunciation. I said Children of Bottom, and then you know, somebody like was quick to point that out. But you know, I ignore it. I just like leave it there. Uh, next, hold on. I lost my place. Where am I? And okay, sorry about that. Okay, number five. Do you ever buy records just to show on your channel? No. I haven't yet. I want to do that eventually. Uh, you know, I'm kind of new and I'm also kind of at a disadvantage. I live in Mexico City and I don't have a lot of options as far as like buying vinyl. There are some vinyl stores that are in like um, a certain area of Mexico City. But since we're still on COVID lockdown, I haven't really gotten out much. I'm thinking of buying some stuff through Amazon and then I will be like doing a video on that you know, in the future. Uh, okay, so how would you like to improve your channel? Um, getting more, I want to eventually get into vinyl. You know, right now I do CDs, I show CDs on some of my videos. I like to do new releases if something happens in, in the music world. I like to jump on it and make a video. Um, I try to improve, you know, I want to like eventually get some more uh, gear. Get some better microphones. I've been using like this cheap, like hands-free um, thing to, because I don't like uh, videos where like the volume is really low. So I figure like with this cheap microphone, I get a pretty decent volume with that. And where am I? Number seven. What are your thoughts on live streams? I think at this point, now I'm only like four months into this doing things on YouTube. So I am probably won't do one for a while. When I see live streams, sometimes I'll like jump on it for a while, but I usually don't interact with that because I feel, like I said, I don't really have a lot of time to watch live streams. I may do one eventually, but I kind of feel at this point, if I do a live stream, I'm just going to be like sitting there alone, just not knowing what to do. <laughs> um, okay, next, uh, where was I? 
What is your most viewed video and are you surprised? Yes, I'm surprised. It was a short like two and a half, mi two and a half minute video about the band Suspect 208. So this is a band, they were like the children of Robert Trujillo, Slash, and Scott Weiland. That video just like blew up and it was one of these videos where I just kind of did it on the fly. It was, and it was exactly like this. I did it outside. I wanted to try like the natural light and the sunlight and all that. And it blew up. It's almost at like 3,000. It's, it's closing in on 4,000 views. So I was really surprised about that because it was a video I did and I didn't really prepare it. I made a lot of mistakes, but you know, that's how YouTube is. You never know what's going to happen. And I love it. Number nine, have you ever made a video where you have not been wearing trousers? Nah. I mean, I just have some sweats. You know, I don't really dress up for this. You know, eventually I'd like, I'd like to buy some more uh, T-shirts with band names. You know, that'll help improve my image and stuff. But I've been, uh, you know, working on my image. My background has improved. If you see my earlier videos, you just basically see, like, the room where my computer was. And you just see, like, a refrigerator and clutter and all that. But now I've been working on my background and I'm always constantly trying to improve. And how long do you tend on making videos? Uh, no, I love it. I don't want to stop. You know, I, I try to like run this like like a business almost. You know, I try to uh, you know provide content people want to want to watch. You know, I come up in videos. I have lots of friends. You know, I made friends here. We interact, and I think that way I build subscribers. And I try to get into uh, other things. Hopefully, uh, my goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers, so I set a goal for the first few months of 2022, so something that's realistic. And other than that, you know, I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't even think I'm going to stop. I'm probably do it forever. Who knows? And that's it. So thank you for watching and to everyone out there. So keep watching, subscribe and all that, and I will see you in the next one.